she really is a tough cookie, you know? She's sort of fabulous, and then she's, everything's dance and dance, and then she just turns into this warrior, uh, full girl power, you know? And she's, and she is, she's tough, and, but at the same time, she's absolutely feminine. And her relationship to Poe is that she has a massive crush on him, but she acts as if he has this massive crush on her. And, um, uh, and Poe doesn't really know what hit him because she's just so full on. It's this beautiful, beautiful, magical village uh, that you, he sort of comes in this very sort of treacherous terrain. And, 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 and when he gets up into the sky, it sort of opens up into this very blissful, magical, beautiful um, uh, area where all of the pandas are living very harmoniously. And, um, and then you meet all of the little pandas and the triplets, the little cubs and, and the older pandas. And so you meet, you know, he, he meets his family. Well, at first I didn't know how far to take it, you know, how, how unapologetic she was. But then it became very clear that she's just totally unapologetic. She's just as big and as out there as I could go with it, really. Um, there's a little bit of a fine line, you know, because she doesn't want to be, but she's so, I mean, you kind of, she's very arrogant, but in a really nice way, not in a bad way. She just sort of is like, you know, blindly in love with herself. He's scary and terrifying and all of that, but he's so insecure. <laughs> <laughs> so there's these great beats of humor with his insecurity of, you know, not being known. Uh, one of my favorite sections, when they go into the scrolls and they do the, the sort of old Chinese animation of, um, of why Kai became Kai, why the villain became the villain, that he was once a good guy. But the, but the animation in that is really beautiful. The artistry is beautiful. I feel really honored. I'm really excited. You know, I was looking at the cast list the other day and the pictures and stuff, and I was like, what a cast. It's so great, you know. Um, I feel really, I, I, I'm excited to be a part of it. I never thought, it's funny, because I've been such a fan that I never, I, I've, I didn't even think like, oh, maybe one day there'd be a part in Kung Fu Panda and I would play a, you know, be a voice in it. But, um, but here we are. I think it's great. I think Kung Fu Panda 3 brings all of the elements that you love to see when you watch these movies. Um, you know, you have, you have the, the more emotional grounded moments of family and discovering who you are, and in this case, uh, an orphan who is finally getting to connect with where he comes from and what he knows and who he is. Um, which there's far too many people out there who have that experience that it's very relatable. And I think even people who don't have that experience can relate to how hard that would be if you didn't know where you came from, right? So you have that sort of base, that groundedness in, in this film.